Well, 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 welcome back everybody to the Kingdom of David Grand Campaigns EU4 portion. Now, last time we left off, Israel is coming to basically conquer <laughs> conquer the uh, aboriginals down here in Australia. And so far, like there, you guys are losing to like the aboriginal tribe men over here. Yeah, they just got squashed. But Israel's troops, uh, wait, where did they go? Where the hell did that? Weren't they just here? Uh, well, I guess they decided against, uh, attacking them. You said thousands of troops down here, and then all of a sudden, they just upped and left. Also, what's not good is the fact that they're about to lose this colonial venture over here. Well, they just drop some men off and... Oh, wait. Are they sailing back out there now? Okay. Looks like they're sailing back out. But Israel also has to deal with, like, some rebels in Mexico. Whole lot of, like, rebels in Mexico that, okay, they're dealing with. All right. That's good. Oh yeah, those guys are gonna be crap. And they have a whole lot of they got separatists up here somewhere. Okay, it looks like Israel is dealing with their separatists. Oh yeah, these are all in Mexico. That's why. And that'll be solved shortly. Alright. There's their navy. Okay, they dropped off something. That's at least all we could ask for. So this would be quick. That's more than enough men to deal with these guys. Well, the fact that, uh, this sieging back the stuff in Mexico, not really, uh, going to crush them yet. Need to get up there to get rid of those rebels. And, well, we also have to remember New Providence is also at war with Hispania. Oh, yeah. Hispania. Okay, so Ambia, I forgot. They are, again, murdering uh, <laughs> poor old Hispania. Hispania Gave the West Frankians what for by sieging some land over here. <laughs> but I'm surprised we are probably going to see Al Andalus form if they gain like a lot more territory, which it seems like they are going to. They're just sieging down this like last mountain fort. Huh. All right, looks like they're dealing with the rebels up here. And... I think it was the zoo separatist. Oh, yeah, Mexico has... Mexico has a lot of problems right now. <laughs> but it looks like their Israeli troops are, like, coming in to clean this up, at least. They're, they're doing something about it. Now in Australia. Okay, so it looks like they're going after the other tribals up here. Maybe we also dropped off some troops. And it looks like they're just gonna, the Aborigines are just gonna park themselves up here and, well, wake them out. 
But Israel is already cleaning up. Look at this. This is nice little empire management over here. Well, that's about to be consumed by Israel. Oh, Ayathia is also waging war down here as well. Sign Malacca. Korea is also beating up on the Kyrians. Yeah, they're about to like take them. Got a chunk of flesh with them. Poor old Hispania. Let's see how their colonies doing. The West Indies are being attacked. Denmark, I forgot, uh, was a vassal of Ambia, so they're being sacrificed. <laughs> Yeah, Hispania and Brazil there, Peru are like the new faces of like the power over here. And yep, looks like the Israelis are cleaning up the borders. Re-sieging back some territory. So that's all clean. Israel, okay, looks like they annexed uh, two of the tribals. Now, Australia just has to fund its own uh, wars down here and rebuild its army of starters. Uh, speaking of, uh, let's see, how is Hosokawa, California doing? Well, they're doing fine, from what I can see. And there we go, Israel, they, they kind of block it off France up here from having contiguous stuff. So, all right, they're doing good. They're doing, doing good stuff. And here's Hispania up here. Yeah, Hispania, you're gonna probably give Israel some free real estate. Wessex Canada is freaking huge. And sooner or later, these guys are being gonna be attacked uh, probably by Israel again. Unfortunately, Leticia's colonial ventures looks like they're probably gonna they're gonna be stopped for a little bit, quite a bit, actually. Oh yeah, Kilwa has a little vassal up here. What is this? Libertatia. Oh. Also, think Kilwa is like the second richest nation in the world behind Israel. How much gold do they have? Like, yeah, they have twenty four thousand gold. Kilwa is just. Rolling in the cash. The Zanzibar trade note, they are basically getting like the trickle down effects from this and they are running with it. Uh, let's see, how's the corpse of Hispania doing? Aside from their lands are in complete, utter ruin. And New Providence is up here. Like just dancing on their graves. Yeah, Ambia forms Al Andalus. That's going to be a bit of a quinky dink in the region. Oh, uh, got some more rebels up here. Hmm, is Israeli Mexico does have a claim? For some land and territory up here. There's the Apache. So, okay, they're also at war with the Kyrians as well. They Korea finished their war. Yep, Korea finished that war. The Kyrians, their empire is done. They've been reduced down to tributary status. Oh yeah, I guess they uh, peace out. They may have they gained something from that. Well, this is like the last. Oh. <laughs> what? 
Excuse me? Was this released? These guys release Korea released the Ottomans over here. Oh my god. Um why? <laughs> Lord, why do you tempt me so? Vestafold is at war. Oh, they're all they're in that war against Hispania. Letizia is Greenland. Look at that. Nice. Got a polar bear up here pissed off that it's in freaking Greenland right now. Yeah, Wessex Canada is huge. They really have like way more room to expand. Hispania, on the other hand, like even though they got these colonies up here, uh, they get really like, well, they have up to five colonists just because of their ideas. But here, yeah, Israel is doing quite fine for itself. We're gonna see the Israeli Canada soon. That's gonna be interesting. Log is a French. Stay away. Deal with Hosikawa. Uh, what is going on over here? Are you? Oh, you're attacking these guys, and you're losing. Are yet? Well, the mother country is coming. Yeah, Israel is. It looks like Israel's gonna come back here and. Oh, they're already here. Well, here comes the thumping again. Let's see. Oh, this is their capital over here. Yep, looks like Israel is just gonna have to come and thump you. And Hispania is like. Uh, wreaking havoc over here. For like the French and their colonies in Australia. Good, good. Hispania, even though your peninsula is gone, you're still holding out the empire. Stay strong. Uh Majritz, where is that at? Oops, I have a freaking caps lock on. Let's see. Oh, that's no, oh, this is what they want. Oh, uh, Uh, poor old Denmark. Um, even though you are a vassal of a much stronger nation, they virtually let you get overrun. But this does give Israel like an opportunity to. Oh, never mind. They can't cross over here into these dense like uh, Amazon jungle. But yes, fight each other, Hispania, France. Fight each other. Weaken each other. Give us the opportunity to, like, expand. Oh, it looks like some Israeli troops are heading over here to, like, clean this mess up. Yeah, you guys have a lot of stuff you guys got to clean up. And over here, Israel is just mopping up the rest of this. Probably going to feed it to their vassals soon. Got noble rebels down here in Australia. This could lead to trouble for the French, but at the same time, that's good. Emperor Saul II, Gideon, 461, and his son, who's a 412. Ugh. Well, that war ended. And it looks like more land has just been claimed uh, for Australia. Yep, looks like there's going to be peace down here unless uh, they get attacked. They attack these guys. Anyway, uh, how's Israeli Canada coming along? Oh, they're, they're coming along just fine as from what I can see. Yes, have the chance to expand up here to gain a more of a portion in North America. 
Yeah, it's poor old Spain. Uh, no grad is at war with Livonia. Let's see, Livonia. Yep, that war with Lithuania. Is Lutitia in on this? No, they're not. But Livonia, honestly, all they have to do is just go up and clean up here in Lithuania. Though Novgorod already has like a lot more men. Letitia, I would probably say you should probably try to chance it and call them in. And they're probably the only thing that's going to save you right now. Novgorod is down, but it is certainly not out. Livonia is winning. Ooh, disease outbreak. That's going to suck for Novgorod. And here we go. Israel uh, is again like continuing the conquest of Mexico. Yeah, they got more than enough troops to handle this down here. Look at this. Israel is a colonial power. These Israeli troops are right outside this Aztec temple and they are saying screw off. Yeah, Israel could take a big, big chunk more of Mexico, consolidating this realm even more. Ambia, like, Ambia's colonies are also suffering. Hispania, like, their Hispanian colonies are holding the line. They're the ones who are holding this burden. Brazil, Peru, all of them, they are making sure they're saying, like, the empire in the old world is dead, but this new empire here is, like, going to remain. Oh, yes, they are most certainly going to remain. Israel is still steadily going down quantity ideas. Yeah, fielding a humongous army like that is not going to be a problem. Uh, Israel has no sailors whatsoever, though. <laughs> like, Israeli's feet, like, is just too huge. Honestly, it's ridiculous how much, like, sailors they have. Dang, Hispania, you're still holding out for this long. What is Livonia doing? Uh-oh, Livonia's capital is being sieged. And it looks like Livonia is kind of trying to attempt to trap Nogrod's troops here. But the problem with that, uh... <laughs> They're like in their territory with their armies now. And Leticia honestly is like just playing for time, it seems. Spania is already at low, like their war exhaustion is like really high. Ambia, they're fine. Okay, it ended. Ambia just ate up all of this land and really all i think this is the only province they need to form uh and all andalus yeah that's literally the only province they need and the and they have to just core it so the next war we are probably going to see all andalus form on the map hispania is already virtually gone it's losing great power status Brazil has high liberty desire. And once Brazil, uh, no, once Brazil gets that liberty desire up, it's going to be, uh, it's probably going to be eaten up by France. Ayuda is going is like to replace Hispania. And Israel just ate up a chunk of that land. Oh, these guys are probably going to get eaten as well. Yeah, they're the war leader. 
Yeah, this really conquest of the new world is like kicking off mainly in Central America. I guess that's its like chunk of flesh. France is moving down through California. Hosokawa is down here uh, fighting. They're trying to stretch down towards Mexico as well. Let's see, let's check back here. Any going on over here in Australia? Nope. Israel just has some troops stationed down here. Actually, what is the uh, capital of this place? Is it here, here? No, Israel is just chilling out with men over there. Oh, here it is. No one's selling New Guinea yet. Ike Thai is also settling down here. Yeah, Ming, you should be doing just fine. Hopefully, carry it. Yeah, you guys are not really much of an empire anymore. Like, you used to have access to the sea, now you're landlocked, and Korea is getting stronger. And Hosokawa is, like, they're taking a chance of expanding in America, while Oda, let me see, where is Oda's idea? Defensive, offensive, diplomatic, espionage, administrative. Hosokawa, oh, that's why, exploration, expansion, and now it's time to do offensive ideas. And Ming is already like taking over like pretty much a bit to the northern Philippines. That's weird. Actually, uh, where's the Ottomans at? This is still like a no. Like, why is this here? <laughs> a Tengri Ottoman. Like, look at this. Look at their bitches. How in the hell would they even be able to do it? <laughs> They got humanist, offensive, administrative, and they're doing quantity. Yeah, even though you got like all this brilliant stuff, um, you're trapped out here. Trapped far, 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 far away from everything that goings and on. And Hispania is being attacked by. Why is Wessex attacking Hispania? What's going on over here? Kilwa is attacking Hispania. Oh my god. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. Kilwa, they, I think Kilwa just wants this piece of land. Benkulu. Benkulu, Benkulu. Let me see. We go to Bing Kulu. Kilwa wants to land all the way out here. Oh my god. Even Kilwa is trying to get on the spice chain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hispania. There's no way you're going to be able to even defeat Kilwa. I don't, I don't think Spain has, Spain doesn't have enough power to even, like, have a navy to send over here. And Kilwa's navy would undoubtedly kill it. So, yeah, they're just going to be losing this land. Israel looks like, okay, they finished this other war. Oh, yeah, look at that. Israeli Mexico is back in action. <laughs> it's now all connected. Sure, we got a little bit of picked pot dots all about but Israeli Mexico um I, I'm certain that this will be like a much more cleaner and consolidated borders why are you guys attacking Norway uh well Norway is dead uh, I just realized that already
Iceland, Ireland. Well, seeing as how Norway is lost half its territory to West Francia because West Francia is just expanding uh, for the sake of expanding out here. Livonia actually defeated Lithuania. Yeah, it looks like they got back some of their Lithuanian territories. And they came out relatively on top. Lithuania is still reduced to like one little province. And now the Novgorodian troops are over here, like, training on the border. The Tissia, okay, looks like they're attacking uh, some of the natives. Actually, what was Livonia? Government type, it's a duchy, grand principality. Grand Principality. Well, they're, they're trying to, like, have the ambition to go in here and move through, like, the Great Lakes region. Try to eke out an existence over there. While Israel is going to, like, uh, try to crush these rebel units. Wow, that's that's really an unfortunate like series of events. Those uh, guys got them so, and eh. and it seems that Israel's colonial venture up here is almost done. Spani, I think they had to give up mostly uh, funding this <laughs> expedition up here in Alaska due to the practical collapse of their empire. Did they just give it up? Oh no, this is like war with Kilwa. I don't know how Kilwa if if they can even get over there. But Wessex, um, Wessex can definitely land troops over here, and Hispania is mobilizing what little they can of the mainland. Let's see where where are the truces looking like? Greater Burgundy, it's four more years. Ambia, they got like 13 more years. I have to say, since... Okay, so Burgundy has a claim up here. Like, right there. And... Ambia has a claim on here, 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 not there, and here. So... I'm pretty sure eventually it's going to be Greater Burgundy and Ambia comes to blows. That's what it's shaping up to be. And most of their vassals are starting to get more and more disloyal. Brazil is at 81%. The West Indies at 54%. And they're trying their hardest to call on to like great power status. Greater Burgundy surpassed Ambia. That's interesting. Oh, uh, did, did they just surrender? What the heck? Is this Hispania just like, is this an unconditional surrender from them? Oh no, I was at the wrong thing. I was looking at the great power, like, map. And Israel. Israel's going for military hegemon. No, they already went. They need to make sure Israel loses the war, which will make them lose the hegemon. So. That's an interesting take. So Israel is the world hegemon of military. Less war exhaustion, foreign spy detection goes up, progress war score costs minus 10%, minus 3 national unrest, minus 20% land attrition, plus 10% movement speed, and plus 20% siege ability. Yeah, that that's already ridiculously high. Like, naturally, they got, like, negative 13, and most of these rebels are just in their uh, Mexican provinces. 
Which there is a lot of, but it looks like they're dealing with it. Yeah, look at all these like <laughs> these Mayan rebels. Yeah, uh, are you guys gonna deal with these dudes or are you just gonna let them hang out here? Oh no, I, I think they're actually trying to do something now. Nope, I think they just, like I'm saying, F it. <laughs> this part of Australia is still owned by like these uh, noble rebels. Let's see, Ming, Ming is having the best time of his life right now. Korea has like a little bit of high liberty desire. Oh, Israel did, looks like they did move a little bit up here. So, is it just me, or is Israel actually afraid of ta attacking these guys? <laughs> oh, Israeli Mexico already has, like, negative three stability. That could be, like, what's causing this. And making this worse. Yeah, you guys need to handle these uh, rebels before something breaks off. Oh my god, Israel is filling like so many troops. Like, it is ridiculous the amount of troops they are fielding right now. I'm trying to figure out where both of them are gathering up at. Here's some down here in Burma. Kilwa is like, this war is still going on. Um. That's already bad news for Hispania. Oh, Kilwa is invading uh, <laughs> Brazil. Oh no, it's Wessex leading the charge. Yeah, actually, where is Kilwa's main army at? Oh, Gascon walked all the way through Africa to come down here. It's heck. <laughs> Well, you're, you guys are going to die down here. Once these guys catch up to you, they are going to kill you. Oh, and now Israel is, like, attacking these rebels. Help clean them up, I guess. And now with that, they're probably going to try to re some of this. My goodness. Mexico here is so treacherous. Also, how's that war with Huron going, Luticia? Oh, they won. Took over more of it. And now they're right in the Great Lakes region. This is really Cascadia. Oh, what's down here? And then there's France again trying to be a dick. Whoa, Hosey Cow, what is happening? Oh, you got occupied by the Apache. How? Well, well I can see how. Hosey Cow, uh, I don't think they have really the fleet they used to. Especially after getting attacked by Ming. Oh, no, they're transporting troops over bit by bit. But the Apache just overran Hosikawa's, like, colonial state over here. <laughs> and these guys, yep, they're cleaning up the last bit of this occupied territory.
And it's, weird. And it's also terrible because like, these guys are traveling outside of like these collapsing like native states and traveling into Israeli Mexico causing more chaos. All of this is due to, oh, uh, Ambia annexed Denmark. So there goes Denmark, everyone. Denmark is officially dead. <laughs> Such a quiet and subtle end to them. Wessex is too afraid to even do a land invasion in here. Though I really don't think they have much in the way to worry about. Um... Uh, Greater Burgundy is doing troop exercises near the border. And I'm still surprised Kilwa is being this aggressive for a colony that is so far removed from <laughs> what it should be going after. I'm surprised no war is fought over here yet. Um maybe these guys are kind of just biding their time a little bit well these guys got a truce for a few more years these guys are open to claim for either side all right and it looks like okay looks like they're finally like starting to clean this up still in those rebels hang out for a bit but so really, Mexico is not doing good with like negative three stability. And of course, it's because like they were fed all this stuff all at once. And it's going to be a minute before they can digest all of this. Oh, there we go. Andalusia was just formed. Uh, I thought they would need this, but I guess not. So there's Andalusia. Andalusia is now on the map. Yeah, I guess they cored most of that um, territory. I thought they needed this bit, but it looks like they didn't. So now, since Andalusia is here, let's check out their ideas. Stand against the Reconquista. Okay, so minus 15% fire damage, plus 100% vassal force limit contribution, plus 3% tolerance to heathens, minus 10% idea cost. Plus 15% national manpower and 15% core creation cost. One extra colonial colonist and plus 10 fort defense and minus 25% uh, fort maintenance on border with rival. So, ooh, yeah. You guys are pr pretty, pretty strong. To the point where Hispania is uh, is pretty much about not to exist over here. So yeah, there's Andalusia. <laughs> uh, you doing fine, Lucicia? Well, fine as in, okay, you got a little bit of a loan. But you're also doing well c colonially. That's something. You still have that one colony over here. That's great. And then, okay, so Israeli Cascadia form. And France is trying to, again, be a dick. By having this stretch of land over here. But Israel is colonizing. Looks like I'm pretty sure they're not going to be able to get this from France. But they'll certainly be able to get this and probably this. Yep, as long as they know what they're doing. And the Apache are winning their war against Hosikawa. Oh, they forced them to retreat. Even though they are kind of winning, they, uh, I guess they're running out of manpower. So now the Apache are on the offensive. <laughs> oh dear God. Uh well. Uh <laughs> well, there goes Israeli Mexico. Uh 
it literally imploded. And all of this just spewed out from his guts. Good lord. Uh... <laughs> Yep, those the self Israel. This is what happens when you take too much at once and you didn't have enough time to feed it properly. Now you got this like mess. Oh, and the fact that Israel is also at war over here for some of this like Siberian territory again. West Frankia, what are you doing? You are attacking OK ONA oh, over there. Yeah, that that is a uh, a uh, really really terrible situation. <laughs> well, at least they're now at like zero stability to form something because this just like spewed out all of this nonsense, and you guys were like the largest colony too. And yeah, poor old Hispanian Brazil is being like completely wrecked by Wessex forces. While Kilwa is still over here on this island re requesting something he can't even invade. Oh, then you have like some Hispanian peasants on their isles too. Uh, it looks like Okay, so it looks like they're back to war uh, in Central America again. These guys are attacking the, these dudes again. Well, here, here's the thing. If you guys conquer it, you conquer only what you can eat. Let's see. This guy and... Oh, okay. So this guy's about to be annexed. This dude's probably gonna be left alone. Yeah, only digest what you can eat. Don't do this again because this creates a mess. And honestly, it would have been fine if Israel just helped out, but they didn't. And Chi Chi is gone. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Oh, oh God. Well, goodbyes. Goodbye, Leticia. It was nice knowing you. Sweden is, like, using their West Frankian mace to pummel you to the ground. And there's nothing you can really do to stop them. Yeah, there's really nothing you can do. Oh, did they, they pieced out. Did they give up the colony? Oh, they just gave it to Kilwa. Well, you guys didn't even try uh, to just do a white piece. Though, I don't even think you could at this point. Yep, Hispania, your time has come. No longer a great power. And now your vassals are sick of you. I think they're about to go their own way soon once they recover from most of this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of this Central American vomit that just like occurred over here. And when we do return, hopefully, um, oh wait, did they already peace out? Oh, they already peaced out of this war. Oh my goodness, Israel is doing so many weird, like, things for this conflict. Yeah, okay, so, since so this is the end of this saga, when we return, we shall once again see... Oh, well, looks like Wessex Canada is also moving in through here. Leticia's colonies are... Oh, they fled over here to the New World and wreaking havoc again. Keep doing that. 
As long as you keep doing that, everything will be fine. But, like, yeah, they already lost this. They've been overrun. They weren't gonna, like, Sweden's gonna get some of his territory back. And the wall of West Francia stands stronger than ever. Oh! Israeli Hispanian colonial war. Uh, well. <laughs> I suppose maybe it's like to gain some more colonies down here. What good will it do? I have no idea, or even if it's like Israel's in a position to even do anything about it. Seeing as how most of their guys. I think the AI is just starting to break down now. <laughs> But tune in next time, folks, to see this war in earnest. So this is Soul Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.